Hello, welcome to the Python machine learning project video. In this video, we will be using the dataset which we used in income analysis once again. We will apply various classification algorithms in order to train a successful model on predicting the income. At the end of the video, we will do a prediction with the models we trained. I will show the dataset in one line and after that, I won't be doing an analytical application in this video. I will directly start with the feature engineering and after that, I will keep with machine learning. You can visit the data analysis video of this dataset for also seeing the data analysis part. That's all from me for the introduction. See you in the coding part. Welcome to the coding part of the video. In this part, we will be using Python for training classification models. At the end of the video, we will be creating a new entry and predicting its income class with the models we trained. In my other videos, I generally go with the explanation of the code and after that, I keep with writing codes. In this video, I'm going to try a different thing in order to take less time. I will firstly write the code and run it off record. After that, I will start recording and I will talk about the codes and outputs. I'm pretty sure it will be happening on not getting loosed in the video. We can start now. So we imported the necessary libraries, pandas, matplotlib and numpy. We used readcsv and we picked some columns for our data. We won't be using all of them. Also, we renamed them because they get spaces in their names. There were duplicates in our dataset, so we cleaned them. As a last step, we used data.head for seeing the first five entry of our dataset. Our columns that we are going to predict income are age, work class, education, marital status, occupation, hours per week, and native country. We will start by transforming these categorical columns into numeric ones. We imported label encoder from sklearn preprocessing and we set it. Now we will transform our columns. Before transforming all of them, I want to start with showing how this operation looks on data. Here you can see the first five entry of the work class column. Entries are non-numeric. Now I will use label encoder. With this line of code, we use label encoder and set it data work class again. Now let's take a look at the new version of our column. As we can see now, our column has the numeric values. Let's apply this for all the remaining categorical columns. We use the same code on all other columns if they contain non-numeric values. Let's see the new version of our dataset. Seems nice. Now we have numeric values only. We had non-numeric values in the data analysis part, so we didn't did a heat map there. Let's generate a heat map from Seaborn before setting the X and Y. We imported Seaborn and generated a heat map with the library. Seems nice. Now we can see the correlations. Now we will set X and Y. Once again, we have age, work class, education, marital status, occupation, hours per week and native country in the X side and income in the Y side. We will now use train test split. We imported train test split from sklearn model selection and we set our x train, x test, y train and y test. Also since we set the test size as 0.3, 30% of our data is going to be in the test set. Since our x values have different ranges, we will scale them. We will use standard scaler from sklearn. We imported standard scaler from sklearn preprocessing. We set a scaler with standard scaler class and we used fit transform on both x-train and x-test. After now, we will use the scaled x-train and scaled x-test in model training. Also, before starting to model training, I will define a function for getting the accuracy score. In this way, we won't need to call the accuracy score after every algorithm. We imported the accuracy score from sklearn.matrix. We define a function as model results and we are passing the predictions inside. Predictions that we are passing here is going to be the values that we are going to predict with our trained models. We will make our predictions on test set. We are printing the accuracy score of the model in a print here. Now we can start to train models. We will start with logistic regression. We imported logistic regression from sklearn linear model. We set a logistic regression and fitted it to our data. Now we are going to make predictions with this model. We made predictions using scaled x-test 
and logistic model and store them inside log predictions. In the next phase, we pass the predictions inside the function we defined in order to get the accuracy score. Accuracy score of the model is 0.73. Now we will train a k-neighbors model. We will also use grid search for hyperparameter tuning. We imported k-neighbors classifier, grid search and pipeline from sklearn. We set k-neighbors classifier. We created a list with numbers 1 to 30 and set it is as k values. We set the pipeline in the next step. Also we set the parameters. In the CV classifier part, we set it grid search and passed pipeline we created. Parameters, CV and scoring. A model is going to be taken with the best performing k value in terms of accuracy. In the last line, we fitted the algorithm into scaled X train and Y train. Now we are going to make predictions and pass them into our function. We made predictions using scaled X test and K neighbors model and stored them inside predictions grid KNN. In the next phase, we pass these predictions inside the function we defined in order to get the accuracy score. Accuracy score of the model is 0.78. Now we will train a support vector machines model. We will also use grid search for hyperparameter tuning. Also, we are getting some errors when we are training models as we passed white train like this. We can use reshape from NumPy for fixing this, but I'm not going to use this in this video. In the last step in the prediction side, I'm going to use that and we are going to see that we are not going to get any error. So if you use that in the old video, you won't get any errors in this type. We imported support vector classifier from sklearn. We set it. We created a dictionary with the possible parameters 0 0.1, 0 0.5 and 1 for C, linear, RBF and poly for kernel. We passed the model and parameters into grid search and fitted it to our data. Now we are going to make predictions with the model and see the accuracy score. We made predictions using scaled X test and support vector model and stored them inside predictions SVR. In the next phase, we passed these predictions inside the function we defined in order to get the accuracy score. Accuracy score of the model is 0.78 once again. Now we will train a random forest model. We will also use grid search for hyperparameter tuning. We imported random forest classifier from sklearn ensemble. We set it our model. We defined the possible parameters 32, 64 and 128 for number of estimators 2, 3, 4, 5 for maximum features, true and false for both bootstrap and OB score. We created a dictionary with these possible parameters and set a grid search and fitted it. Now we are going to make predictions using the model we trained and we get the accuracy score of it. We made predictions using scaled X test and random forest and stored them inside predictions RFC. In the next phase, we passed these predictions inside the function we defined in order to get the accuracy score. Accuracy score of the random forest model is 0.77. The best performing model in terms of accuracy is K neighbors. We will use it on the predictions that we are going to make. Firstly, for defining a new entry, I will write a for loop for getting the mean of all the columns. As we can see in the output, we got the column number and mean of it for each column. How this loop works is, we first set it column iterate as 1. We created a for loop inside the columns of x and we get the mean of every column in each stage. We printed the column iterate and column mean for each column. In the ending of the loop, we increased column iterate. Now we will define a function which is going to help us on making prediction of the new entry and returning the class it has. We define the function prediction and we are passing the new entry inside. At the first step, we are predicting income of NumPy array that we are going to pass into our function. Our prediction is going to come as 0 or 1. 0 means below or equal to the 50,000. 1 means more than 50,000. We wrote an if statement which returns these values. Now we can do this prediction as the final step of our video. Our prediction is below or equal to 50k. We created a new index with the mean values from our columns 
and we made our prediction. That was all for our video. Thanks for watching. I'm creating content about programming and data science. You can subscribe for seeing more content like this. Have a great day.